today let's take up the topic valuation of goodwill uh we'll first do the valuation of goodwill by the average profits method right now let's see how to compute the value of the goodwill by the average profit method okay first of all in this average profit method you have to compute the average of all the profits or losses given for uh the past years suppose it's given for 2 years or 3 years or 4 years so you have to first of all compute the average right okay uh then while computing this profits or loss you have to add the abnormal losses and deduct the abnormal profits or gains because we don't have to take into account the abnormal losses and profits right so that has to be adjusted fine finally when the average has been taken after that uh, you will have to multiply the adjusted average the adjusted average means the average after adjusting the abnormal losses and gains right so the <coughs> adjusted average has to be multiplied with the number of years purchase right so these are the steps that we have to do now in average profits you have got two things one is simple average and the other one is called the weighted average right now let's <coughs> <coughs> let's look at a question of simple average first i'll take up a question in which we have abnormal profits and losses right uh supposing i have this question the following are the profits of a firm of a firm for the last 5 years right so here i am uh, giving this 2001 let's put it as 20000 2002 is 25000 2003 it is 40000 2004 80000 and 2005 it's 120000 right after that it has been given in the year ending march 31st 2002 there was a gain of rupees 5000 on the sale of a machine right then in the year 2004 a compensation of rupees 20000 was paid to a worker right goodwill is to be calculated on the basis of four years purchase of average profits right so now we'll calculate the goodwill now let's see how to do this see first of all i write down this 2001 i'll put this uh, here i'll write profit and here i'll write adjusted profit okay so 2001 uh the profit is given as 20000 and no adjustments are there for the year 2001 the adjustments are in 2002 and 2004 
right 2002 one adjustment is there 2004 another adjustment is there so here this adjusted profit will be the same as your original profit so 20000 right now let's come to 2002 2002 it's 25000 Now in the question it says in the year two thousand two, right? There was a gain of rupees five thousand on the sale of a machine. So gain of rupees five thousand on the sale of a machine is an abnormal profit. Okay, because I'm selling the machine, I'm not expecting that. Uh, it's not a normal thing, right? It's an abnormal profit. So that abnormal profit has to be. Deducted from here, so minus five thousand we do, and the adjusted profit comes to twenty thousand. Okay, okay. Now the year two thousand three again no adjustments, it will be as it is. So that was forty thousand. So that forty thousand will be written as it is here. Two thousand four. Now in the year two thousand four, the profit is eighty thousand, and we are saying that a compensation of rupees twenty thousand was paid to a worker. So a compensation paid to a worker means it is abnormal loss. Money is going out of the firm's hand, right? Okay. So twenty thousand is an abnormal loss. So that twenty thousand will be added over here. so that becomes 1 lakh right now we take up 2005 2005 it's given as 1 lakh 20000 and no adjustments in this case so the profit adjusted profit will also be 1 lakh 20000 now the next step is i have to add these adjusted profits so it's going to be 20000 plus 20000 plus 40000 Plus one lakh plus one lakh twenty thousand. So if you do this, twenty thousand plus twenty thousand plus forty thousand plus one lakh plus one lakh twenty thousand, it comes to three lakhs, right? So three lakhs, and the number of years is five years. So three lakh divided by five. It's going to be rupees sixty thousand. So the average is coming as rupees sixty thousand. Now this is the average you have got. Now the question says, goodwill is to be calculated on the basis of four years purchase of average profit. So this four years is what we have to do. So here, goodwill now will be equal to sixty thousand. Into four, that will be equal to two lakh forty thousand. This is your goodwill. This is how you will calculate it. If no abnormal profits or losses are given, then obviously no adjustments or whatever is the profit that will be added. If for some year a loss is given, then the loss will be subtracted. Okay. Now, let's take up the next one. That is the weighted average. weighted average in weighted average you will be given weights for each and every uh, year the profit right again in weighted average also if there are any abnormal losses or gains that will have to be adjusted okay so now i'm going to take up one uh, question on this uh, weighted average supposing i have this 2001 uh the profit i put it like this year profit and the weight right 2001 the profit is given as 15000 suppose the weight is given as 1 2002 the profit is Twenty thousand and the weight is two. Two thousand three, the profit is given as twenty two thousand and the weight is three. Two thousand four, it is twenty five thousand and the weight is four. 
okay and now you have to calculate the goodwill at two years purchase right so no abnormalities are given here only a basic question uh, i'll show you how to calculate the goodwill using weights right so what you do first of all is here uh, we have to take up the product of the profit and weight right so this is 15000 into 1 is 15000 right for the next year this is 22000 into 2 sorry 20000 into 2 that is 40000 and then 22000 into 3 that comes to 66000 right and 25000 into 4 comes to 1 lakh okay now basically what you have to do is you have to add up the column of products right so if i do that it becomes 15000 plus 40000 plus 66000 plus 1 lakh right which comes to 2 lakh 21000 and the next one is add up the column weight now weight if i add this this is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 which comes to 10 so now see how we will calculate the average the average will be products divided by the weight total of the weight right so that will be equal to 2 lakh 21 thousand divided by 10 right so this will be equal to 22,000 100 right so once you got this average now you have to calculate the goodwill basically right so goodwill we have written it is going to be two years purchase right so the same thing as we did earlier goodwill will now be equal to 22,100 into 2 that will be equal to 44,200 so this is the amount of goodwill this is how it is to be calculated if supposing in this question you have been given some abnormal profits or abnormal losses in that case uh, the same has to be adjusted as we did in the earlier question and then the uh, product will be found out fine so adjusted profit into weight that will be the product in that case okay so with that I'll come to the end of this topic on valuation of goodwill wherein we have seen the average profits method. Thank you.